I am so excited today. I'm finding a junkyard that I thought was lost and gone. But when I went ahead and uh, on a recent trip heading to Quartzsite, I decided I'd stop while I was in Salome. I, about six years ago, I talked to a gentleman named Doc. And Doc owes partners and owned this junkyard. It's out in the Salome. And I couldn't remember quite where it was. And I'd also know that he'd passed away a couple years back, and I'd heard rumors that a lot of the stuff had been sold off and just wasn't there anymore. But while my trip to Quartzsite, Arizona, I was actually heading out there to go ahead and pick up some oil bottles that I'd uh, bought. Well, I started asking around in town, just trying to find out uh, more information on the junkyard, because I couldn't quite remember where everything was. I got lucky and was able to talk to people at a local cafe and they helped me out and I was able to go out and find the place and come out and talk to uh, Stephen who was uh, the son of one of the uh, partners in the company and here I am in Slow Arizona at the junkyard so I love it. I, I know a lot of this stuff has been complete cars were sold off some of them but there's a bunch here still and I actually have to do a second video there's so much out here. But that was just one of the things I was just really happy to find out this junkyard was still around. I mean, you know, when these things are gone, they're gone. So I was just so excited to be able to find this again and be able to show you stuff here. Now, these cars right here were damaged in a flood that was across the road. They were like in really good condition when they were there. Unfortunately, not so much now. There's a 1928 Studebaker. That's pretty cool. But nice thing about looking around here is they had everything. There's a old GMC truck. That would be like a one and a half, two ton uh, truck. It was kind of funny. The motors were actually made by their other divisions like Pontiac and stuff like that. GMC actually didn't make the motors for the trucks. There's an old white COE cab over engine. And then over here, it's kind of funny. You got a 1926 Cadillac. And those are pretty cool. They'd have like a 314 V8 motor in them. I mean, eh, pretty rough there, but man, you can picture what this thing had to be like in the day. I mean, it would have been amazing. But even saving this stuff, if you've got one trying to find parts or something like that, is not easy. Now, this is what I love. This is a 4x4 Cadillac. It's like a 50s Cadillac or something. They Somebody put up on a 4x4 frame. How cool and wild is that? Look at the interior there. Look at everything. But I, I just love it. Somebody went wild and crazy and had some fun. I mean, you got to enjoy what you do out here. Now, there's one of the homemade camper specials. Now, here we go. 1930 Model A. It's an old Ford. And what was nice about those, they'd have the L-head inline four, about 201 cubic inches, only 40 horsepower, but you could get up to 65 miles an hour, I was told. So that ain't half bad for back in the day. Now here's an old Diamond T. This would definitely be, uh, these are primarily the work trucks, so they'd be larger ones. Now here's a 1938 LaSalle. This would have been a pretty dang high-end car. You can see right there, they had the place on the fender where you'd put the spare tire, uh, the grill with those lights are just amazing looking. And just kind of taking a little bit of look around. It's kind of nice. Some of the stuff out here is actually marked, so it's nice to see what's here. And you can just look in there and see a variety out here. Now, this one's a 41 Plymouth. Uh, so there's a grill missing a few parts, but you never know. You know, for the guy looking for uh, to redo something, hey, you got to start somewhere. There's a front end, nice old front end off of something. Now, this is one of the old Dodge trucks, and this, again, would probably be a one-and-a-half ton, two-ton truck. I love those front grills, though, the kind of the stair-step grill there. Just amazing. It looks a lot like the 41 Chevy grills a little bit. Now, this I really like. This is an old ambulance. And look at that, the lights, when it comes up, the lights are actually built into the car right there. You see those in the front, and we'll walk around the side, and that just had to be neat. Now, here we're walking over. This is a 1925 Buick. It almost looks, I don't know, would that be considered a roast? I don't know how much was there, but those wood wheels were a lot of fun. This is a 39 Chevy here. So you kind of see what we have now a 1919 buick and almost 
could almost be like a roadster type of look, I bet. A little better look at some of the different stuff here. That's a 1920 Dodge. So they're having a lot of 1920s and 30s stuff, but there is a lot of 40s and 50s stuff to come up. You'll see a bunch of that towards the end, and there's a bunch more trucks and uh, different things like that, and parts galore. They have fields of just parts. There's over 40 acres out here. Now, this is an old, nice old international truck, uh, probably a two ton truck, I'm assuming. Uh, but it's got a cool looking deal. Now we're getting kind of out. That was the lower part of the yard. Now we're starting to get into the main part of the yard up here. And we're looking around. I mean, come on. You're in a junkyard with old cars, and old trucks. It, it, there's no such thing as a bad day in the junkyard. This is what we're here for, guys. I mean, you just gotta love it. Now look at this, they got pallets full of old lights uh, that you can stick on any of the older cars or people just make things out of them. Doors galore, that's some of the stuff I actually did buy, picked up some doors. We do a lot with doors at my store up on at Route 66 Road Relics up there in Seligman. And uh, we do advertising and all sorts of fun stuff. This is what I was trying to tell you. There's just fields full of parts. I actually need to go dig through a lot of this and see if there's anything that uh, will work that I, can, that I can use. Some nice old cars and uh, trucks with a nice little front end right there. And this is just a little bit of this yard. Like I said, I'm probably gonna cover maybe 60% of it today. I've got to come back uh, later this week. I'm going to be doing another video. But this stuff is just classic. I mean, look at this. This is a 1925 Nash. You know, it, you just don't find this stuff out there. Now we're getting over to some little newer stuff. Here's like a 71 Cadillac. And okay, got the motor. Looks fairly complete on that. The clipper. And you can see a lot of the cool old uh, cars out here. Look at the fins on that car right there. I love those fins. Almost like a knife point there. And I'm walking in here just trying to give you a better view. You know what amazes me is these cars from the 50s, their grills were amazing. Now there's a 19, I believe it's a 19, well that's a Dodge, I believe right there to the right. But to the left, you've got a 1968 or could be a 67 uh, Cougar. And that would be kind of a fun little muscle car. Look at somebody pulled the engine on that one. Now we're heading back a little further into the yard. And you'll just see there's lots of cool old cars from the 50s back here. I, I think these are just projects waiting to be done. This is a 1952 Buick Roadmaster, I believe. It could be a 51 or 53, but I believe it's a 52. The, the front end grills are just like, I don't know, they're just mean, literally awesome looking. And uh, like I said, there's no such thing as a bad day at the junkyard. You just kind of love this stuff. Look at that there. Kind of interesting. A couple trucks in the background, you can see. A couple over the 40s, looks like early 50s. Now here, I love this. This is a 41 Pontiac ambulance you see in the distance there. Like the other ambulance you saw, they actually built in um, a lot of, well, I don't know, maybe these ones weren't built in. Yeah, they were, they were built in on that as an ambulance, the lights. There's the inside, and look at that, that's where they actually kept all their medical equipment. And there would be where the patient would be at. And you come around the back. I mean, this would be like Ghostbusters Extreme right here if you simply fixed up this ride. Look at that front grill, I mean, that's awesome. And now we're back to just more parts. I mean, they are, look at that. You got hoods, you've got fenders, you've got wheels, you've got wood wheels. Those are all like, getting hard to find. Um, you've got metal spoke, we've got the old doors. We do a lot with the doors. We'll put advertising, do a lot of fun stuff there. Now this is a neat old international that you're looking at right here. And that grill, these things just had some classic looking grills on them. And we'll come around here to the side and let's take a little better look of, uh, you know, the inside It's missing the back half, but you can see there, there's the dash, this car, the color on this, tr this, uh, truck is amazing on that. I love it. I'm not sure what that is though. So help me out guys. If you know what this truck is, uh, put it in the notes for me or in the comments, help me out. 
because I'm trying to find out what it is. I love the round window in the back. I just think that's that's just something that's just not done anymore, hardly. And I, the color on the thing just pops. And then here we go. We're looking at some more cars. Looks like an old Ford truck right there. And there's more parts. I mean, like the, one of the things, it just parts everywhere. I mean, you gotta love that. I mean, and a lot of this stuff is marked, so you can see what it is. Now look at that, it's an old Dodge car right there. Look at that grill though. I mean, come on, that, that's just, that's classic right there. Now check out those old truck, old cars right there. Looks like once those came from like one of the gangsters back in New York or something. And this is just a slow look around the fields and more parts. I mean, I just love getting out here and digging around. I mean, it's just a lot of fun. And I hope you enjoy it too. There's more, more parts. We got parts, parts, and more parts. But you know, it's what you want, isn't it? You want to see stuff that maybe you can do something with. There was a lot of stuff back further into the bushes and stuff that I haven't gotten to. There's the pup. There's a 1950 Cadillac. That's pretty cool. Like I said, they had the front grills of these things were amazing. Had like the kind of little... Maybe what is a 49 Buick. That's a four-door right there. And just going to walk around and take it slow and see what we can see around here. I love this car. It looks like a 36 Terraplane I used to have almost, or 37. It's actually a Gram, but a lot of them, they make very cars similar a lot of times with the different uh, brands. Now we're looking out here. One of the things I really love about uh, being out here in the junkyard is that you'll see stuff. It's We're trying to save these old junkyards. I mean, once they're gone, they're gone. They're not coming back. And it's kind of like when you're restoring a classic truck. You know, you find it, the paint is peeling, the motor doesn't work, and it's even missing parts or needs body work. But when you restore it, you, you kind of put your heart and soul into it, and you've saved something that was lost and brought it back to life. I mean, you guys know the smile on your face when you have a classic car or a classic truck. And you get to cruise on it and drive it and hear it start and keep watching it as it keeps getting better and better as you find those parts you need. And that's one of the things we're trying to do out here. We want to go through and try to save these old junkyards if we can, or at least let you know where some of the stuff is where you can get some parts and stuff. Sometimes, sometimes they're junkyards that are private. I can't let you, I, I, I can't give you too much info, but this one's over in Salome and, uh, you can actually ask around and um, really nice folks out here help you out with some of your stuff. It's just amazing, but I yeah, I was just so excited after I found this junkyard. Beginning, I was just going to court, so I had no idea that I was going to be involved in being able to find this junkyard again that I hadn't been able to see in forever. I thought since the one of the guys had passed that it would just be gone, but... It's just some of the excitement you get when you find the, some of the new stuff still around or some of the old stuff still around. And I've got another video coming out on this junkyard. So check that out in the next couple weeks. I'm going to head back out there because I just barely got into a lot of it. There's like a 1948 Dodge cart. Look at the background. You got Sorrel Cactuses back there. I mean, come on. How cool is digging around out here? I hope you guys find the parts you're looking for and that's one of the things we want to do is kind of help you out or maybe you find that next project i mean it could be your next dream car or truck out here that's what we love about all this stuff i mean it's just amazing and then check out the trucks and there's a few trucks here but there'll be a lot more uh, there's a lot more trucks that i saw coming up and while you're in it check out this next video this is one of our other junkyards and i think you'll really love it